So, I'm an idiot. But before we get into that... Eat your heart out, Brutal Doom. Uh, of course, for these clips, I altered the pinky's health to only be 1. And that makes it extremely easy to get them to the negative value of their starting health, negative 1. And that's what causes them to jib. But with a regular starting health of 150, pinkies are normally much harder to reduce to their jib health. And that leads to why I'm an idiot. You see, the other day I was thinking to myself, well, with a spawn health of 150, pinkies should be pretty jibbable with rockets and the BFG, right? So if they had a jibbing animation, and then you dehacked it in, you should be able to see it during the normal course of vanilla gameplay, right? Technically, yes. However, I didn't really think it through properly, and I failed to take into account several important factors. But first I went and made the animation that I've shown, and then it was only while testing it out and mostly failing to jib pinkies that I started to think a bit more carefully and realised where I'd made several big errors in logic. As I said, jibbing occurs when the monster has been reduced to the negative value of its spawn health. So for a pinky this means dealing so much damage its health goes to negative 150. However, a lot of Doom's weapons deal damage in multiple stages. For example, the shotguns and how they shoot multiple pellets at once. And this is important because once any of these individual components of a weapon's attack drops a monster's health below zero, the monster dies immediately and stops receiving damage. Essentially, jibbing requires one significant killing blow. This is why the shotguns can't jib, and sometimes why you'll see a rocket fail to jib. Because rockets deal damage in two stages, the initial projectile hit and then the splash damage. And see, I forgot this at first, and this explains a lot about why pinkies are so ridiculously hard to jib with a rocket. The splash damage can only deal a maximum of 128. It can never jib a pinky. However, a max damage roll from the projectile itself is 160, so it can jib, but just very rarely. Because not only does the rocket need to be a max damage roll, the pinky needs to have 9 or less health when it's hit in the first place. And these two conditions occurring at once is... well, pretty damn rare. This just leaves the BFG. I'm sure most of you know that the BFG deals its damage in multiple stages, the BFG ball itself, and then 40 hitscan attacks that are called tracers. Each of the tracers only deals a max damage of 87. Once again, no pinky jibbing. The ball itself though deals anywhere from 100 to 800 damage, so it can jib pretty regularly. But watch this. Did you see anything there? A direct BFG ball hit will jib a pinky with regularity, but it just covers up the animation anyway. What's the point in having the fancy animation if the BFG's animation covers it? Yeah, turns out that the guys behind one of the best and most influential video games of all time were efficient and experienced game designers who knew their stuff. They probably didn't make a pinky jibbing animation because they realised during Doom's development how rare that would be and that there was very little point. Oh well. I still had fun making the animation and thinking the problem through once I cleared my head. Hopefully you enjoyed what has essentially just become another celebration of how damn good id software is. And I'll see you in the next, but hopefully successful this time, dehack shenanigans. I'm out now. Peace.